And this episode, it's all about the sniper and his rifle. I know you can't see me right now. That's because I got this awesome ghillie suit on. But welcome to 10 interesting thing about guns that you probably don't know. I'm in the jungle right now, so I gotta be quiet. This is my 300 Winchester Magnum, outfitted with a super high magnification scope. Rifles just like this one have been used all over the world by snipers for almost 100 years. In this episode is all about the sniper. Number 10. The name Sniper dates back to the 1770s when to snipe meant shooting snipes, which was a highly challenging game bird for hunters. Around 1824, the term Sniper started being used for military men for the first time. Number 9 In addition to marksmanship, snipers must also pass rigorous physical fitness tests, as well as comprehensive psychological evaluations. Number 8 Somi Haya, or White Death, holds a record for most kills at 505. Ludmila Pavlichenko is known to be the most successful female sniper with 309 confirmed kills. Sure, snipers have taken longer shots by far, but the number for most kills probably belongs to Haya. And it's worth noting that Haya was using iron sights, not high-powered telescopic sights or scope. Number 7 it is believed that the Soviet Union employed over 2,000 female snipers during World War II. It's also worth noting that of the 309 kills from Pavlichenko, 36 of those were other male snipers. Sadly, only around 500 of the female snipers that Russia employed survived the war. Number 6 Snipers spend most of their time lying in wait and performing other scouting and recon activities rather than actual shooting. Carlos Hathcock, AKA Whitefeather, however, once crawled over two miles to take out Viet Cong from over 700 yards away. His longest kill was tallied at over 2,500 yards. He even once shot an enemy at over 1,000 yards, right through the enemy scope. Number five. The Scots have been credited for the invention of the ghillie suit somewhere around the early 1900s. However, the use of camouflage and probably some other type of suit was undoubtedly used centuries sooner. Number four. So, what are the most common sniper calibers? Well, here's a list of a few. 762 by 51 or 308, 300 Winchester Magnum, 6.5 Swede, 338 Lapua Magnum, 762 by 54 R, 303 British, 30 out 6 Springfield, and 50 BMG, to name a few. Others are 556 or AR-15, 243 Winchester, 65 Creedmoor, and 7mm Remington Magnum have been used with great success by snipers all over the world. Number 3. The Whitworth rifle, invented in 1854, is typically credited as the first official sniper rifle, although shooters during this time were referred to as simply marksmen. It was capable of firing two to three rounds a minute and boasted a remarkable 1 in 20 twist rate. While we scoff at that twist rate today, it was a vast improvement over the infield, which had a 1 in 78 twist rate. Number 2. Contrasting the first rifle to today's finely tuned machines, the Whitworth rifle was capable of hitting targets up to 1,300 meters away. Today, the longest confirmed kill shot is recorded as 3,540 meters. Doing some simple math, that's more than two and a half times the distance. How far will rifles be able to reach in the year 2,400 or 2,500? Well, for about $15,000, you can get yourself a TAC-50 and try the nearly 4,000 meter shot yourself. Number one. And if a sniper was picking a caliber today, what would he choose as the best overall sniper caliber? Well, it would be the, well, before we get to that, we have to look at all the factors. Muzzle velocity, ballistic coefficient, retained energy, transonic range, recoil, barrel life, and ammo availability. I'll give you guys these choices. Go down in the comments and let me know which one you think the winner would be. 300 PRC, 300 Win Mag, 65 Creedmoor, 308, 
300 Wisdom, 6.5 PRC, or the 30 out 6. We'll do a video in a few weeks, and you guys can find out then. So, how'd you do? Did you get all 10? Did you know everything about snipers? Well, go down in the comments, let us know how many you did get, and how many you didn't know. And be on the lookout for the next episode of 10 Interesting Things About Guns That You Probably Don't Know. My name's Junior, and I'll catch you next time.